four weeks, that's all it took to drastically change my dangerously high cholesterol without prescription meds. I didn't just pop a prescription, I went all in. I revamped my diet, my workouts, and I added the Brian Johnson Blueprint stack. And to get it out of the way, this video isn't sponsored by any means. This is literally my organic experience with the Blueprint by Brian Johnson. My family history of heart disease, it scared me, but I knew something had to change. I couldn't leave it to chance. I'm gonna show you my biomarker changes and share a personal story about why the journey matters so much to me. Heart disease has unfortunately always been a part of my family's story. My dad had a heart attack in his 50s, and my uncle ended up having chest pain. And when he went to have a catheterization performed to check his arteries, they could barely even get in his vessels because they were so calcified. Then my mom, after hearing about all this with her brother, decided to get screened. She got a coronary artery and calcium scan, which is something where they use a CT scan to look at the hardness of her arteries, and it came back at 600, which was highly elevated. I still remember her words when she told us this. She said, remember boys, this is hereditary. She was talking to my brothers and me. In that moment, I felt torn. Was it my fate? Was this my destiny? It feels kind of inevitable. Like no matter what you do, you're gonna end up bound going down that same path. But I refused to believe it. I at least wanted to try to see if I could make changes with dietary modification and supplements before going on medicine. While Brian Johnson follows a strict regimen, I kind of developed my own healthy approach. I'm 38 years old, I'm 175 pounds, and here's what my typical day looks like. For breakfast, I have egg whites and avocado and whole grain toast. I usually sprinkle a little tahini on there, which adds flavor without adding any calories or salt. For lunch, I have chicken, muesli, and berries. So I usually have frozen berries that I'll end up heating the muesli and the berries up together and that makes a delicious meal, feels very sweet, especially when I'm not having a lot of other sweet food. And I eat about six ounces of chicken, which I don't mind a bit, but I know that might be a lot of meat for some people. For a snack after work, I have nutty pudding with the blueberry nut mix. Now these are two things that are in the Brian Johnson supplement stack. He usually recommends to mix it with nut milk. I personally mix it with skim milk. And I'll tell you, it's very delicious. I really enjoy looking to this every day. It's a delicious, sweet, chocolatey treat. The nutty pudding does have a pretty good amount of protein in it that comes from peas. So it's about 26 grams of protein, which is a great boost to the protein and getting protein from a different source than just my chicken. It's also different than the protein that I get from the skim milk. For dinner, I usually have a pretty significant amount of Greek yogurt with walnuts. And I usually either have chicken or beef broth. I kind of rotate the two. I have a couple cups of spinach as well. Also on that spinach, we'll put a little bit of fish oil, usually just a teaspoon. I usually drizzle this with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, about a tablespoon. And I also have three ounces of salmon. Now I realize each of us are gonna eat a little bit differently. And of course I'm doing my best with this diet to try to eat in a fairly healthy fashion that works for my lifestyle. I want you guys to kind of understand my weight and age. So you can kind of think about your diet and how it might affect you. I know the diet is not really related to the supplement stack exactly, but I think it's important to look at this all in a broad context so you guys can understand what all I did to make these changes. On top of diet, I've always loved weightlifting. I've competed in actually in three bodybuilding shows in the physique class, but cardio I have not liked so much. But I did commit to doing cardio at least three or four times a week, even if it was a short duration, 10 minute session. Then I would follow it up with my weight training. In the end of the day, I was usually working out around four times per week. Now this is pretty consistent with what I'd been doing in the past. And in fact, my diet was actually fairly consistent and my cardio was fairly consistent besides the cardio changes when starting the Brian Johnson Blueprint Supplement Stack. Before I show you my results, let's simplify a few key terms. The overarching supplements that are in this stack, my quick thoughts on them, and then I'll show you my results. Cholesterol is like grease that flows through your bloodstream. Your body needs some, but too much can clog your arteries, kind of like how grease clogs the drain over time. Then there's APOB, which is like the delivery truck carrying the grease into your arteries. The more trucks you have, the more grease buildup you'll get. And that's why both high cholesterol and high APOB are dangerous. They increase your risk of heart disease and stroke. First, we have the longevity mix. The longevity mix is a powder that you drink in the morning. I had the longevity mix along with my capsules in the supplement stack. Longevity mix has a calcium alpha ketoglutarate. It also has creatine and ashwagandha. So ashwagandha can help with mood and sleep and alpha ketoglutarate, they kind of claim can help with frailty index. And then creatine that's in the product at 2.5 grams is one of the most researched supplements in pretty much all of supplementation. It can help with muscle, it can help with energy, it can even help with some brain function. I tried two flavors of the longevity mix. I had the blood orange first, 
And then I had the pineapple uzu, I believe it's pronounced. I actually prefer the blood orange more. Both of them are kind of sweetened a little bit with monk fruit. If you guys watch my skincare videos, you guys know I like things that work. I don't really care if they smell funny. I don't care if they tingle on my skin. I just want them to work. So in this case, it doesn't taste great, but I will say it's like an acquired taste. I don't mind it a bit. And honestly, I'm slugging it down in the morning. So it doesn't really matter to me how it tastes. It went down fine. I've tried a lot of supplements, especially with like working out and stuff over the years. I've definitely tried things a lot worse than this. This is fairly inert. Brian Johnson has even said that he basically included all the things that don't taste horrible into the drink and everything that would taste absolutely terrible, he put into capsules. So I'm gonna start breaking down some of the capsules that I took with my longevity mix in the morning. Three of the capsules I took in the morning were knack, ginger, and curcumin. They have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects, help reduce inflammation, and inflammation can lead to, you know, penetration of those cholesterols and stuff through your vessel walls. So that was one of the first set of pills I took. Next up was the essential soft gels. These contain carotenoids, which are really good for the vision. It also had vitamin K of various types in it, which can be helpful for heart health and some other botanical ingredients. So again, all these pills, I kind of slugged them back. Didn't really, you know, so you don't taste it or feel them or anything like that. Next up was the essential capsules. Now this had a variety of things. It had vitamin D. As a physician, I'll tell you, nearly every patient I check is deficient in vitamin D. And it's a supplement that you can very safely and affordably supplement. It had vitamin D in it, vitamin E. So a mix of fat soluble and water soluble vitamins. It had folate as well, biotin at a reasonable dose, some zinc, selenium, manganese, even lithium boron, some of these other kind of micronutrients that are in it. So that was the essential capsules. This is another one that you take three of. Next up was the red yeast rice and odor-free garlic. These are fairly researched supplements that are shown to lower cholesterol naturally. And this is one of the products in this stack, which happens to also be one of the most affordable uh, products in it. I think it's only $11 that helps to lower cholesterol naturally. It is odor-free garlic. I definitely, I was taking it. I never had like any type of burps that felt nasty or, you know, stink. I've heard that with other garlic formulas. In this case, it was no problem. As I understand it, the red yeast rice extract, how it works is it basically, it's a byproduct. So statins are a type of medicine you can get prescribed to lower your cholesterol. From what I understand that red yeast rice can produce statins as a byproduct. So as you take it as a supplement, maybe you don't know exactly how much statin you're getting, but I'll tell you my results are pretty great, so I'm not gonna question it. If you guys remember, one of the things I said I had as a snack after work was the nutty pudding and blueberry nut mix. So this is essentially full of polyphenols that come from things like fruits, pomegranate, grapes, stuff like that, also cocoa. So those are powerful antioxidants that are included in this formula. And then usually I would top it with the blueberry nut mix. It's essentially like a half a cup of fresh blueberries. These are dried in this formula. There's also macadamia nuts and walnut mix. So this ends up giving you a pretty nice dose of omega threes and omega sixes. And there's also of course plant protein in here, which makes up a good bulk of the calorie content that comes from this product. Finally, I had his snake oil, which is the extra virgin olive oil that Brian Johnson takes a lot more than I did. I only had one tablespoon a day. I think he takes three or four tablespoons per day, and it ends up being like 20% of his calories or 30% of his calories for the day. But extra virgin olive oil has some great effects for cardiovascular health and also reducing inflammation. It went really great on my salad, so I loved it. I know he personally takes a lot of effort to get that from a single source, and making sure that it's relatively fresh, I guess, when it gets to you. So no problems there. I loved it. It tasted very organic. It had some nice earthy tones to it. So now for the big reveal. After just four weeks on the Blueprint stack, my ApoB dropped 35% from 133 to 85. 133 was considered very high. My LDL cholesterol dropped by 47% from 173 to 90. My total cholesterol dropped by 38% from 243 to 149. And my HDL, the good cholesterol, I know I'll probably take flack from that, but it actually increased from 49 to 57. So these were incredible changes that I even reviewed with my primary doctor and my friends who's a good cardiologist. And they were kind of blown away by the results I got. And I'm sure everybody's a little different, right? It's not like everybody's gonna have that result, but I wanna tell you, I was absolutely strict 
with my diet and the blueprint stack during that month and it made an enormous difference. These numbers are rare to achieve even with medication. So during that time, I also lost about 10 pounds of weight, which I'm sure makes a difference in my cholesterol. It also makes a difference in my blood pressure. So during this experiment, I also cut my blood pressure medicine in half. I was taking a relatively low dose, 25 milligrams of Losartan. I cut that down to 12.5 milligrams and maintained a great blood pressure. And there is an ingredient in one of the Blueprint products called taurine, and this has been shown to be helpful for hypertension. So I know when my mom told me this is hereditary, I felt torn. Was this gonna be my fate? Was this my destiny? Or could I change it? Too many people feel like there's nothing they can do when they see their family members with diseases like heart disease or diabetes, but you don't have to accept that. Brian Johnson has started a movement called Don't Die, and that's what this is all about. Now, obviously, we're all going to, you know, perish at some point, but you definitely don't want to die early and not in this special moment in history when medicine's getting better and better and breakthroughs are right on the horizon. I've seen the difference firsthand that the right lifestyle changes and supplements like the Blueprint Stack can make. Everyone's path is different, but you don't have to wait for the wake up call to make a change. Thanks for watching. And if this resonated with you, drop a comment below and let's talk about how we can take charge of our health together. I'll see you in the next video.